Change your diet, change your life, change the planet. I was having a pretty good day today. Um, got a run in in the dark, didn't get out during daylight. And uh, emails are coming in, wow. <laughs> I'm grateful. I'm really appreciative, but there's no way I can keep up, and it's it's causing me to kind of crash. You know, my depression is not a deficiency of tryptophan or essential fatty acids or of carbs or of any other chemical. It's a deficiency of time and ability. I want to answer everybody's email. I want to do a million things. I have ideas like you can't even imagine popping out of my head. I've wanted to build a running raw team for the past six years. That was my original goal was a team. It wasn't supposed to be about me. I wanted it to be a team. And I, I couldn't keep up with communication. So every time I tried to do something with a team, I would just, I couldn't keep up and it, it would fall apart. I would fall apart. Uh, my depression is really my inability to to create team and I mean that in many different senses my ability to bring people together unite them I can get people excited about things but I don't know how to manage them I don't know how to delegate I don't know how to help people help me so there's a billion things I want to do and I can't do them because I, I don't I'm shy I honestly I don't know how to I don't know how to communicate with people and hold them accountable and, and say, you need to do this, or I would like it if you would do that. Making requests. Requests are tough for me. Really, really tough. When I went raw, yes, my brain changed dramatically. My depression disappeared. It did. I got smarter. I became more observant. I became more sensitive. It was incredible. It was exciting. Those are really positive things, but guess what? If you're more intelligent, observant, and sensitive in this world, and you're putting yourself out there, and you're trying to do something uh, with honor and integrity and, and really make a difference and not a buck, I don't make money doing this. My depression comes from a brain that is working better than it did before. A brain that's more intelligent. A brain that can't ignore all the crap that's going on in the world. A brain that can't ignore watching people commit suicide slowly with their food choices. You know, it's a sin to kill yourself immediately. Put a gun to your head, shoot yourself, or slit your wrist, or whatever form of suicide you choose. That's a sin. But it's not a sin to kill yourself over the course of 30 or 40 years, or 20 years now with kids. So, killing yourself is not the sin. It's the speed at which you do it that's the sin. Kill yourself immediately? Well, that's a sin. Kill yourself over 20 years? Oh, wow, yeah, he just died out of nowhere. It came out of nowhere. He was such a good guy. He, you know, he, oh, he had a loving family and he's got kids and he's got, he committed suicide. Just took him 20 years to pull the trigger. Well, he was pulling it the whole time, but just really slowly. It took 20 years before the firing pin finally went. My brain works better now. And I see those people and I see the choices that they're making and I know I can't tell them what to do. I know I can't force it down their throat. I know I can't just yell at the top of my lungs that people wake up you've got to see what you're doing it doesn't work I can't do that so what do I do I train like a madman I, I suffer I sacrifice so that I at the end of the year I have a resume I have an example that people might notice maybe they don't maybe all of what I'm doing is in vain but my hope is that somebody will be opening up a newspaper while they're sitting down and having you know bacon and eggs at breakfast and they open the newspaper and they read a story about me and maybe they can they reconsider maybe they maybe a light bulb goes off in their head and they say wow that's interesting look at what that guy's doing I wouldn't think that's possible but look what he's doing there are certain times when Running is the easiest thing in the world, like right now, because I can't stand being in the house, because I can't stand uh, being in front of the computer and, and stressing about not knowing what to do next, sitting there numb and blank and, you know, freaking out. So, just, I couldn't wait to get out and go running in the dark, in the cold tonight. So that's what I'm doing. This is, uh, is going to be an anti-anxiety, anti-depressant moment tonight, right?
right now. So I'm running through town and I run by the pizza place with their big screen TVs and packed with people. Uh, run through town, there's two bars on Main Street, tons of people hanging out in front of the bars. And uh, it occurs to me that uh, it's Saturday night. It's like 10.30 now. And I'm probably the only person in town who's running. And I don't drink. I don't eat at restaurants here. And that's one of the reasons I'm depressed is that the people that live here are not bad people. They just do different things than I do. And I've really got no common ground with them as far as socializing. So here I am, the, the lone guy running at 10.30 on a Saturday night. Well, they're having a great time getting drunk and eating pizza and just being social. That's part of the problem. I need to, I need to move to a community where there's more people like me. Depression is, <clears throat> it's not an individual disease. It's a failure of community. I'm not blaming my community. I'm not saying that my community has failed. I'm saying that our culture in general has failed. We have created a culture where we don't really communicate, where we say, hey, how you doing? And the answer is, oh, great, fine. How are the kids? Oh, they're wonderful. Really? Do we ever really tell the truth in that conversation? Do we really want the answer when I say, how are you doing? Do I really want the answer? Do you really want to tell me? We hide. We pretend that everything's okay. We pretend that our lives are great. We pretend that we have community. We pretend that we have love in our lives. And we're all starving for it. You know, we're so into buying objects and having jobs and making money and having a house and having a car, but, but are we fulfilled? Are we alive? Do we have richness? Do we have community or do we just have things and a job? The 2.3 kids and the house and the car and the mortgage payment or the foreclosure. Well, what about the community? Isn't that more important? Isn't that richness of life really what it's all about? That's why I'm depressed. Not because I'm lacking some nutrient. Not because I'm not eating enough. It's because I'm alone. And so are many of you. And you can tell me that I'm not alone. But I'm sitting outside of a, the hospital on a fence. 11 o'clock on a Saturday night, running. I'm alone.